So I know a lot of us are in quarantine or at least in some type of lockdown situation out there uh, because of uh, COVID-19 right now. So I wanted to show everyone a potential way to disinfect certain items using a solar oven. Of course, it's possible, you know, to put particular items uh, in a regular oven, but if you can do it without using any type of electricity or producing any type of smoke or using fossil fuels, all the better. So I searched online for information about what type of temperatures it required to kill uh, the coronavirus. And I came across uh, this website from consumerlabs.com. You may be familiar with that website, but the question was, does heat kill coronavirus COVID-19? Can it disinfect face masks and packages? And the answer is, if used properly, moderate or high heat can be used to kill coronavirus, inactivating the virus so that it is no longer infectious. You know, which, which only makes sense because even foodborne pathogens uh, like salmonella and E. coli and things like that can also be killed, obviously, you know, cooking the food using heat and even UV sources. So using a solar oven, you're getting both of those. Granted, the UV is not super powerful in this particular situation, but you are getting some type of UV exposure uh, to help along in the, in the process. So this article goes on to say, heat is very effective at sanitizing and disinfecting objects from coronavirus. If anyone tells you that coronavirus is resistant to heat, they're wrong. In fact, the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19 may be even more sensitive to heat than the earlier SARS-CoV virus. It goes on to say that certain experiments showed that uh, coronavirus can become undetectable after 30 minutes when heated to a temperature of 167 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. The time required to kill SARS-CoV-2 increased as the temperature was reduced, which makes perfect sense. It happens uh, the same way whenever you're cooking food. All you have to do is just cook it longer, you know, at a lower temperature and it still has the same effect. So this article goes on to give certain examples. It says, if you have purchased takeout food and you wish to disinfect the container itself of coronavirus, as well as keeping your food warm, you can simply place the container in a warm oven or a warming drawer, which is a perfect example of, you know, what a solar oven is. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to have full sunlight exposure to reach the temperatures that they're talking here and even after the sun has gone down you can continue to to keep your food warm using it as a as a warming drawer it, it works perfectly like this and then also most plastic and paper containers are stable for short periods up to 200 200 degrees fahrenheit or 93 degrees celsius so obviously there's no heating elements in the solar oven so this is even a safer option if I've got a, a good sunny day and I go out and grab the mail, I'll just pop it in the in the solar oven for a little while, just kind of put it in there and forget it for a little bit. It's not like it's gonna combust the paper or it's not gonna start smoking or anything like that. And you can also put certain grocery items in there. I'll, I'll put items that are fairly stable that can take a little bit of heat. I'm not worried about cooking them or anything. So, so I'll put in packaged items, these snacks here. And of course, you can adjust the sun angle uh, using the, uh, the reflector here if need be. But something else I, I've also figured out using the, the solar oven is that if you raise flowers or, or vegetables in a garden and you start your own seeds, you can actually disinfect the seed cups uh, that you put your potting soil in. And there's also a couple of options here. If you have cups that you've used previously from the, the previous season that might have some type of mildew or mold or fungus in there, you can sterilize these in the solar oven. You can also sterilize your potting soil in the solar oven. This particular website gives kind of a breakdown about what you can sterilize, you know, what you can kill uh, using particular temperatures. For instance, most plant pathogens Fungi, bacteria, viruses, worms would be killed at 145 degrees Fahrenheit at 30 minutes. Plant pathogens, certain bacteria, soil, insects, um, 160 degrees. You can even kill weed seeds and heat resistant plant viruses if you get it up to 112 degrees Fahrenheit, which these solar ovens will do that quite easily. So I do see this as a viable option. There's easier options for some people out there depending on their, their situation, but 
I prefer to do this in the solar oven because it, it takes zero energy, it doesn't produce any kind of smoke, it uses no fossil fuels whatsoever. So it's just another option on the table that, that will work. One more thing that I wanted to point out on that first website is that it talks about heating a face mask um, to disinfect it. I know that that's very popular with people in the medical field, people in law enforcement who are you know constantly working with people in the public. They're wearing face masks now and then whenever they get home they'll pop them in the oven for a little while to disinfect certain types of masks. It does say here that a university found that heating an N95 mask uh, known as respirators at 167 degrees for 30 minutes did not compromise uh, the face masks um, even after 20 cycles. Maybe if it if it got you know hotter than that it might start to break them down or something like that but but again this is a perfect option for face masks. 167 degrees is very easily reached um, in these solar ovens. There are a lot of different solar oven designs out there but the one that's going to work Probably the best in this type of situation is a box style solar oven. The box style holds a lot more. It retains the heat really well even after the sun goes down. The one that I use is called the Sun Taste. It's put out by a company called Sun OK and I, I've had really good results with it. It's nice and light. It's easy to carry in and out of the house and I know that it generates the type of temperatures needed to kill these particular pathogens and, and viruses so it works really well in this situation. So I hope this information can help someone out there. Please pass along this information if you found it helpful. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.